Hey developers, there's some big news in the React world that just came out. React has changed their license. This is going to affect a lot of people, a lot of projects going forward. Stay all the way to the end of the video and I'll explain to you how it might affect you when you're deciding what front end framework to choose next. Let's talk about it. Hey, before we begin, let me just say that React has a long history of licenses and changes. I'm not gonna go through the whole history and also I am not a lawyer. So if you are thinking about using React in your projects, just take this as some advice that you can take up, but you may wanna consider talking to a lawyer if you are wanting to use this in your project and you have a strict license that you're using already. So just be aware about that. So we're gonna take a look at the React license. We're gonna take a look at what it was before and what it'll be afterwards. So the Facebook React license is also known as the Facebook BSD plus patents open source license. And the problem with a lot of people had with this as license is because how it dealt with patents. So you can see here, this paragraph is the exact paragraph a lot of people took problems with. And the problem is that the license granted here under will terminate automatically and without notice. And if you initiate direct or indirect or take a direct financial interest in any patent assertion against Facebook or its subsidiaries, and against any party relating to the software. And so essentially this said, if you are gonna sue Facebook for any patent litigation, that they can terminate your license and go after you for anything that you may be infringing on their patents. So therefore they probably have patents on React and not just React, but the internals of how React works. So if you're using React in your project and you happen to sue Facebook for any reason, or at least patent related, they can come after you. And this con this caused a lot of concern in the community because there's a lot of there was a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt on it. People were actually thinking that, well, if you sue Facebook for any reason, they can come after you and terminate your rights to your to your licenses, and you'll then have to change your your code or or pay them a fee. Um, so there was a lot of discussion in the community about what this meant. So. Dan Abramoff, who is the creator of Redux and Create React Act and works at Facebook, of course, told, um, gave three reasons, um, points to consider if you're worried about React. And what he said is that Facebook gets sued for patent trolls every month for a ridiculous sum of money. Facebook to the date has never yet used software patents offensively, only in defense against patent lawsuits. And if you don't intend to use software patents offensively, you have nothing to worry about. So he basically said in 2016 that don't worry about this patent. I know it sounds like the, that Facebook can come and sue you, but we don't ever sue people offensively, only if we get sued first. And this is just to help protect us. So I think for the most part, the community understood that and they were okay with that. I mean, there was a lot of distractors, even in this Twitter thread here, there's a lot of people talking about it. And there's a lot of articles written about it and people kind of distilled it to three things that basically Facebook has patents that cover React. Facebook won't use those React patents to stop you from using React code because there's a lot of people saying, well, can I even use React in my projects while I get sued by Facebook? And if you sue Facebook for patent infringement, they'll probably come back after you, counter suing you if you use any of their React licenses. And they also said, this is kind of interesting, if Facebook sues you for patent infringement first, you can counter sue using your own patents and Facebook still can't use their React patents against you. And if you go back to, to the uh, actual text, it actually says that in article three that yes, if you sue them and they come back after you, if they sue Facebook sues you first, then you have a little bit more protection. And then there's a lot of lawyers coming in and saying, well, you actually might even be more vulnerable if you don't uh, use React because then React can just use their patents that they have on it and say, well, this technology is using this patent and they can come after you. So this was all fine and, and dandy and there was a lot of discussion, but for the most part, um, not any major concerns were happening in the community. Everybody was still using these projects that were under this license. Uh, one such company was the Apache Foundation. Now, if you don't know, the Apache Software Foundation has quite a few projects underneath it. And a lot of those projects use different dependencies for other projects. 
And one of those projects uh, that came into light was RocksDB. So a little history in the timeline. What happened is Apache Cassandra asked ASF, that's the Apache Software Foundation legal, if they could use RocksDB as a dependency. And then after some discussion, the ASF's vice president, Chris A. Matman, concluded that Facebook's BSD plus patent license, the one we were just discussed the last few minutes, was not compatible with the Apache Software Foundation. So therefore, that was ruling saying that any of the Apache Software Foundation software couldn't use any of this uh, Facebook's projects that were licensed under this BSD plus patents license. So they discussed it with RocksDB. RocksDB, which is a Facebook project, decided to change their license and change it to a dual license from the BSD plus patents to Apache license 2.0 and GPL2. So that was fine, but uh, upon searching for other dependencies with BSD plus plus BSD plus patents license reacts is singled out as ESF is asking for clarification. And that's this post. So under the Facebook react GitHub, someone opened, uh, someone from the Apache software foundation asked react to relicense their, their project, just like rock DB did. And they were trying to get some clarification under that. And so there was a big old thread, lots of people were talking of, of what this meant. And basically at the end of the day, um, React uh, Facebook, Adam Wolf created a, an article saying, kind of explaining the situation. So basically Apache Software Foundation has a number of different licenses and they have a licensing term called category X and category X is a list of license that aren't allowed. And they added Facebook's BSD plus Platins license to that list. And basically Adam Wolf said, well, sorry, not sorry. You know, we can't do anything about it, essentially, that they're not gonna change it and that they're sad that these projects are leaving. And so there's a lot more discussion. This happened in August 18th. And they went ahead and closed the GitHub request to change their license. So things went on and on. And then on September 14th, Matt Mullenweg, which owns, he uh, is the guy behind WordPress. He owns a company called Automatic that uh, helps influence a lot of, of the WordPress development, said that he was going to go ahead and not use React in his projects for uh, Clipso and a few others. He also said, and this was a big thing, that the Gutenberg team was going to take a step back and rewrite Gutenberg using a different library. And if you don't know, Gutenberg is like the WordPress uh, editor that they were rewriting for WordPress. They were going to use React. So they decided that they couldn't use React. So this uh, really stirred up a lot of, of talk in the development community. Someone went ahead and opened up a, under the WordPress Gutenberg GitHub, they add a request for people to vote on which framework to change to. And the really, it was between Vue.js and Preact. And from looking at this thread, it was almost entirely Vue.js. Everybody wanted to move to Vue.js. So there was a lot of discussion there. It looked like there was the momentum for React was definitely slowing down. So last Friday, so we're finally catching up to today. Last Friday, Adam Wolf made a new uh, posted a new blog saying that they are going to reverse their decision and they're going to relicense uh, some of their projects, not all of them. Some of them are still going to be under this va Facebook BSD plus patents license, but at least React, Jest, Flow, and Immutable JS will now be under a new MIT license, which means that they will no longer have this BSD patent problem with it. And so they have encouraged a lot of projects that have ch switched because they didn't want to worry about these this dependency, this problem, and to go back to React. So that is how it's looking like today. Now, like I said, they haven't done for they haven't done it for all their projects. So if you're a maintainer of a project and you're looking and you need to use some dependencies, either React or, or something under else under the Facebook license, you still need to double check or Facebook umbrella projects, you still need to double check to see what kind of license each one of those projects has. If this Facebook BSD plus patents license isn't compatible with your project, then you're still going to have obviously issues. 
But it's interesting, you know, this kind of corresponds about the same time Mark Zuckerberg got back to Facebook from his paternity leave. So I'm, I'm wondering if Mark actually got involved in the discussion at some point and just decided to change it for the better. And I mean, this is a really good thing for, for Facebook is to get rid of at least this license for some of the more popular projects because it was really hindering um, the adoption in the community of it. Now, I, as a huge Vue.js fan, was really hoping that Gutenberg would go with Vue.js and it looks like they've reversed courses. They're gonna go back to React at this point. But it's kind of interesting uh, what that what this all means. So if you're opening, so when I asked at the beginning, when I mentioned at the beginning that you should stay to the end, if you are starting a new project and you're worried about licensing and you're worried about Facebook coming after you, if at some point or another you get you have to sue Facebook or Facebook sues you, you can now be rest assured that you aren't going to be held responsible. Your 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 Facebook um, your your React license isn't going to terminate if you sue Facebook or Facebook sues you, so you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. So uh, this is a big discussion. I was thinking about doing maybe if people are interested, I can maybe even do a, a slideshow on this or a presentation. But I just wanted to get quickly out some facts about it. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button and just remember Udemy is having a ten dollar sale this week. If you look at the links below, I have some awesome, amazing deals. You can just click on any of those affiliate links. Those are the ones I really recommend. Just click on them. I make a few bucks if you click on it too. So thank you for supporting this channel. Click that subscribe button. Thanks guys. Bye.